What's up guys? Today in this video we will look at why South Africa is ranked as the most dangerous tourist country in the world for solo woman travelers, by far. Stay safe, stay away. A study of the world's most dangerous tourist countries for women traveling alone reveals the good, the bad, the ugly, and then all three in one at the top of the list, or rather bottom. South Africa, which stands out head and shoulders above countries like Brazil, Mexico, Iran, Morocco, etc., as the most dangerous tourist destination for solo woman travellers. The good in South Africa's good, bad and ugly is its attitude towards women from a religious perspective, whereas obviously all the Muslim countries predictably take top honours here. But shh, don't tell the liberal mainstream media that. We would not want hard facts to get in the way of their fake news. Because this is not hearsay. These are not personal anecdotes from other travellers. These are not one-off worries. These are the hard facts. The gathered data was from a variety of trusted international organizations and sources cited below to create a woman's danger index that will help women find the worst countries to avoid and safest countries for solo female travel. Disclaimer. Note these are the top 50 countries with the most international tourists. So untraveled or unknown backwaters are by no means deemed to be safe here. Spoiler alert. No doubt you might just want to know which are the five safest countries to travel with. Well, not surprisingly, they were in Western Europe. We list them further down in the article. To measure safety abroad, one cannot look at only data on street safety, rape or violence. It also depends on the general attitude of the culture, minutia of the legal system, and systematic oppression of local women. These issues can affect everything, from easily getting a taxi alone to having your voice be heard in a conversation to even needing a male escort for your personal safety. A lot on our list, such as attitudes towards partner violence, may not affect solo female travellers directly, but these factors are a good indication of overall attitudes within the culture towards women, specifically single women. Sadly, not one country received full marks with an A score, which indicates a certain measure of political correctness or cultural Marxism inherent in the ideology of the source organizations who purport to support the unnatural and unattainable true equality between men and women on earth dogma, whereas true diversity means the preservation of differences, not the destruction of it through mixing it all up. Whilst they should certainly earn the same as men for the same job, and be free and safe to travel where they want. I for one would prefer if my woman was not just like a man, thank you very much. Please note, they give both the percentage of women who feel safe walking alone at night and the female victims of intentional homicide index a double weighting score because they are very good indicators of safety for foreign female travellers and are more likely to be highly accurate since it isn't shameful to admit whereas non-partner and intimate partner sexual violence are obviously strong indicators for rape, but the seriously widespread under-reporting to different degrees per country makes it hard to justify double weight because it could skew the results more than is fair. So let's get to the five worst tourist countries for women traveling alone. Using the formula stated above and creating their own index from these different factors, that affect both international and local women, here's the list of the five worst countries for women to travel to out of the top 50 most visited countries in the world. 1. South Africa With this nation which became increasingly violent since the end of apartheid, where almost as many people are murdered every year now as were murdered during the entire apartheid era, the so-called rainbow nation scored poorly on street safety and many other factors. Like elsewhere in the world, women in South Africa have been historically treated cruelly, and while situations have been slowly improving, the negligence, ineptitude and socialist policies of Mandela's ANC regime has allowed crime and violence to spiral out of control. Often, travelling women to South Africa are warned not to hike, drive, walk or move about alone, and to generally behave conservatively. Only last week, the UK Foreign Office issued a warning to travellers not to hike on the famous Table Mountain after yet another tourist was robbed and murdered. In South Africa there is a high level of sexual assault and other violence against women 
the majority of which occurs in townships and poor rural areas where witch doctors spread primitive ideas that raping a baby can cure AIDS, something even Mandela himself did not bother to address. Given the HIV AIDS epidemic, the problem is compounded by the transfer of infection. Some rape victims have escaped infection by persuading their attacker to wear a condom. One in four African males in South Africa has admitted to raping a woman. This is according to a Mail and Guardian article where one in four African men in South Africa have admitted to rape and many confess to attacking more than one victim. According to the study that exposes the country's endemic culture of sexual violence. Three out of four rapists first attacked while still in their teens, the study found. One in 20 men said they had raped a woman or girl in the last year. South Africa is notorious for having one of the highest levels of rape in the world. Only a fraction are reported and only a fraction of those lead to a conviction. The study into rape and HIV by the Medical Research Council asked men to tap their answers into a PDA device to guarantee anonymity. The method appears to have produced some unusually frank responses. Professor Rachel Jukes of the MRC, who carried out the research, said, We have a very, very high prevalence of rape in South Africa. I think it is down to ideas about masculinity based on gender hierarchy and the sexual entitlement of men. It's rooted in an African ideal of manhood. Jukes and her colleagues interviewed a representative sample of 1,738 men in the Eastern Cape, which is the traditional home of the Khorza tribe, and KwaZulu-Natal, which is the traditional home of the Zulu tribe, which are the two biggest tribes in Southern Africa. There are roughly 13 tribes in South Africa, and given the failure of multiculturalism globally, this on its own could explain all the violence in South Africa. But shh, we are not allowed to talk about that. For most female visitors, patriarchal attitudes and sleazy behaviour are the main issues. However, there have been incidents of travellers being raped and women should always take precautions. South Africa scored above half in all but one of the eight factors, namely legal discrimination. Only 25% of women felt safe to walk alone at night, while intentional homicide of women was three times worse than the second placed country, Russia, in this category. That is a headline all by itself. 34% of women in South Africa felt that a husband or partner is justified in certain circumstances to beat their wife or partner. And 23% of women have experienced sexual violence by a non-partner in South Africa. SA tops the list here too with a 6% margin. Alcohol. Mm. Yeah, if not alcohol, I you can't forget. Sahana, so my six. After four Sahabi, I go to For double to and I get to Come on, I'm eight years to ten years to say five. How is it that alcohol? How is it that it's alcohol? How is it that it's alcohol? I'm going to 
The shots rang out. It was just bullets everywhere. It was a war zone. My husband said, no, please, my friend, just take what you want. You can take anything. Just leave us alone. My little girl put up her hand and she said, but I've got a piggy bank. You can take my money. My husband said to them, please. And the one guy said, oh, just kill him, brother. And they shot him between the eyes in front of us. Our little boy was born five days after daddy's funeral. They came with an iron, you know, a normal clothing iron. They burned me on my leg, telling him that they're going to hurt me if he doesn't open the, the safe. And he tried again, and then they burned him on his back. I'm out of hospital, but he's still in ICU. Brazil. Trailing in second place, quite a way behind South Africa, was Brazil who scored badly with both street safety and intentional homicide against women. This sun-drenched country also performed poorly in the global gender gap category. The United States government warns tourists not to walk alone at night or to physically resist any robbery attempts. Let's hope the conservative government of Bolsonaro gets a hand on law and order. Number three, Russia. Scoring below par on both the intentional homicide against women and non-partner sexual violence, Russia comes in at number three on our list. This beautiful vodka-loving country also performed poorly in a host of categories including being the ninth worst with legal discrimination against women. The Me Too movement has been pushed in the headlines in Russia, showing signs that things are slowly improving for the better. But this too could be part of the Russia hysteria that USA has been subjected to by its mainstream media. 4. Mexico Since Mexico is by far the most visited country out of the top 5 worst, it really caught our eye. The three areas that Mexico ranked abysmally for were street safety, intentional homicide and non-partner sexual violence. In fact, Mexico ranked in the top 4 worst in all three of these categories. Many news reports have cited that, unfortunately, Mexico is becoming more and more unsafe and it's best to only stay within your holiday resort to minimize negative incidents. Number 5. Iran Of the top 50 most visited countries, the Islamic State of Iran scored the worst in the Global Gender Gap Study. It also scored quite terribly with inequality and discrimination categories, placing this country fifth worst in our index. One area that Iran did perform well in was the fact that they had very low levels of intentional homicide against women. Although non-reporting could play a factor as females are classed as worth far less than men in fundamental Islam. The rest of the 50 countries, from most dangerous to least dangerous, are number 6. Dominican Republic 7. Egypt 8. Morocco 9. India 10. Thailand 11. Malaysia 12 Saudi Arabia, 13 Turkey, 14 Argentina, 15 Chile, 16 Cambodia, 17 Bahrain, 18 Tunisia, 19 USA, 20 Ukraine, 21 United Arab Emirates, 22 Vietnam, 23 China, 24 Indonesia, 25 Philippines, 26 Bulgaria, 27 Hungary, 28 Belgium, 29 Australia, 30 South Korea, 31 Japan, 32 Greece, 33 Germany, 34 Sweden, 35 Czech Republic, 36 Italy, 37 Denmark, 38 France, 39 Netherlands, 40 United Kingdom, 41 Poland, 42 Canada, 43 Croatia, 44 Portugal, 45 Norway, 46 Switzerland, 47 Austria, 48 Ireland, 49 Singapore and 50 Spain making Spain 
the safest country for single female travellers. And now we get to the bit which most of you probably have been waiting for. The five safest well-travelled tourist countries for women travelling alone. Here you'll find the five safest countries for solo female traveller. Not surprisingly, four of the five are located in Western Europe. Despite the advent of Islamic terrorist attacks and the rise in crime and violence fueled by the increase in mass illegal immigration, if you're planning your first solo trip, then these countries may well be a great starting point before venturing out to the more risky countries. Number 50. Spain. Spain is the safest tourist country on earth for women traveling alone and it's the second most visited destination just behind its northerly neighbor France. Unlike its Spanish cousin Mexico, this similarly sun-drenched Mediterranean jewel performed very well with street safety, low legal discrimination and low violence against women attitudes. Although once again part of the politically correct cultural Marxist agenda, it is noted that in 2018 Spain's socialist government had women outnumbering men with 11 out of the 17 cabinet seats which gave it a boost in the rankings, although it doesn't necessarily reflect on safety. 49. Singapore Singapore is by far the safest Asian country on the planet. Excellent ratings in more than half of the areas, including 92% of women feeling safe when walking alone at night, makes this island nation really stand out. Interestingly, Singapore's next-door Islamic neighbor, Malaysia, was the 11th worst country in our index and is separated only by a short bridge. They speak the same language too. Number 48, Ireland. The small island nation of Ireland had particularly low levels of legal discrimination, gender inequality and violence against women's attitudes. Ireland also had relatively low levels of non-partner sexual violence. One area cited where there is still room for improvement, where this study seems to constantly hone in on, is with the pay gap in fields such as scientific research, although this once again is more political than actual. There is however a rise in the physical crimes against women with the enforced influx of migrants from the third world, although this remains largely unreported due to it being politically incorrect. 47. Austria Austria has some of the lowest levels of sexual violence and gender inequality out of all the destinations we reviewed. Only four points behind Ireland makes Austria the fourth safest country for solo female travellers. One thing that makes it stand out is the fact that 100% of women have at least some secondary education. Number 46. Switzerland Some would say that Switzerland is the most beautiful country in Europe, with its countless breathtaking mountains and fairy tale landscapes. Switzerland performed very well with street safety and low levels of intentional homicide against women. Although quite shockingly, Switzerland didn't allow women the right to vote until 1971. So if you're still with us, you've probably been wondering what are the factors that determine the ranking for the 50 countries. Well, there were eight factors determining danger ranking. The Women's Danger Index, as it is known, listed in the 50 countries, was created using the following eight factors. More weight was given to percentage of women who feel safe walking alone at night and the Intentional Homicide of Women Index, as they are the most reliable indicators of safety for foreign female travellers. Please note the circles above each factor represent the corresponding scores that the other countries in the top 10 received in that category. Safe to walk alone at night. Surveyed women 15 plus answered, In the city or area where you live, do you feel safe walking alone at night? South Africa only had 25% of women saying they felt safe walking alone at night. The top 10 worst year in order are South Africa, Brazil, Argentina, Mexico, Dominican Republic, Ukraine, Chile, Turkey, Malaysia and Egypt. The next factor is intentional homicide of women. The next factor is the intentional homicide of women. While most victims of lethal violence are men, violence against women is pervasive and the rates of women killed by intentional homicide vary widely by country. The country with by far the worst index score was once again South Africa. The top 10 worst here are South Africa, Russia, Brazil, Mexico, Dominican Republic, India, Ukraine, USA, Philippines and Argentina. And the third factor is global gender gap. The calculated index measures disparities between men and women in several areas economic participation factors, educational attainment factors, health factors and political empowerment. 
The top 10 worst here are Iran, Saudi Arabia, Morocco, Egypt, Turkey, Bahrain, United Arab Emirates, South Korea, Tunisia and Japan. The next factor is gender inequality. This is another calculated index that measures three basic factors, health such as maternal mortality, empowerment such as secondary education attainment and labour market such as female labour market index. The top 10 worst here are India, Morocco, Cambodia, Iran, Indonesia, Dominican Republic, Egypt, Philippines, Brazil and Thailand. The fifth factor is violence against women attitudes. The percentage of women who agreed that a husband or partner is justified in beating their wife or partner under certain circumstances. The top 10 worst here are Thailand, China, Cambodia, India, Malaysia, Singapore, Egypt, Vietnam, South Africa and Morocco. Factor number 6. Non-partner sexual violence. This is the percentage of women who have experienced sexual violence by a non-partner in their lifetime. Note this factor is typically underreported by varying degrees in each country. The top 10 worst here are South Africa, Australia, Mexico, USA, Canada, China, South Korea, Japan, Sweden and the Netherlands. 7 is intimate partner violence. The percentage of women who have experienced physical or sexual violence committed by their intimate partner. Note the factor is often underreported to varying degrees in each country. The top 10 worst are Morocco, Thailand, China, Turkey, India, Brazil, USA, Chile, Vietnam and Argentina. And finally the eighth factor is legal discrimination. Aggregate scores for laws and regulations that limit women's ability to participate in society and the economy or that differentiate between men and women. The top 10 worst here are Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Iran, Bahrain, Malaysia, Egypt, Tunisia, Indonesia, Russia and Morocco. The three tourist countries that surprised the most. These are countries that were not the worst nor the best but surprised us with where they were ranked. Number 6 Dominican Republic the Dominican Republic is an extremely popular destination for American tourists and has recently been making headlines after a string of mysterious deaths. In our index, this beautiful Caribbean island ranked sixth worst, scoring particularly woeful with street safety. Whether it was the recent media coverage or not, the study certainly found the Dominican Republic isn't safe for women traveling alone. This surprised us because before the recent string of events, we'd never heard of problems for tourists going to the Dominican Republic. Number 11. Malaysia As a Muslim country, very poor ratings with intimate partner violence and gender inequality issues brought Malaysia to the number 11 spot on the list. This makes Malaysia one of the worst Asian countries for solo female travellers, just behind India and Thailand. The thing that surprised us is how big of a gap there is between Singapore, the safest Asian country, and Malaysia, since they are separated only by a short bridge. In 1963, when Malaysia was formed, comprising of the Federation of Malaya, Singapore, Sarawak and North Borneo, now Sabah, the move was meant to foster closer ties. However, Singapore's merger proved unsuccessful and less than two years later, on 9th of August 1965, it left Malaysia to become an independent and sovereign democratic nation, which is now extremely successful and safe. Number 43. Croatia Croatia is one of the poorer European countries on our list, yet it is one of the safest destinations on our list. This sun-soaked nation did well with relatively safe streets and low in intentional homicide levels. However, one area that Croatia didn't perform well in was its quite high level of both partner and non-partner sexual violence. Asher and Lurik, who created this index, ranked the top 50 countries with the most international tourists with these eight different factors for the Women's Danger Index, which was compiled using the following data sources, which shows a bias to political correctness and globalism. 1. Gallup World Poll 2018 Percentage of women who feel safe walking alone at night. 2 points. Equal measure 2030 2018 Female victims of intentional homicide index. 2 points. UN Women 2016 Lifetime Non-Partner Sexual Violence 1 point. Georgetown Institute 2017-2018 Lifetime Intimate Partner Violence 1 point. 
Georgetown Institute 2017-2018 for Legal Discrimination, one point. World Economic Forum 2017 for the Global Gender Gap, one point. UN Development Programme 2017, Gender Inequality, one point. The OECD 2018 Attitudes Toward Violence Against Women Survey, one point. Thank you very much for watching and if you like what you saw, please remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification button and please share if you want to see more of this. Thank you very much.